Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 213. The idiom today is to soften the blow. Okay. Let's take a look at the note here. Uh, this idiom could also be rephrased as cushion the blow. So you could say to soften the blow or cushion the blow. Uh, both are okay. Now, obviously, a blow is like when you've been hit or you've been hit hard or somebody punched you. So you feel some pain, something bad happened to you. But if you soften it, you kind of pull it back a little bit. It's not as bad. So you soften the blow. Uh, I don't know, maybe like in uh, in boxing, they wear those... Uh, those boxing gloves, uh, if you didn't have a glove on, that punch would be even worse. Uh, that glove helps to soften it. I don't know if that's a good example. But usually when we say to soften the blow is you do something to make it seem not as bad, not as harsh, not as harmful. So let's look at the note here. So if someone or something softens or cushions the blow, it makes something harmful less harmful, or you feel less pain, or... You know, it's it's less bad in some way. All right, well, let's take a look at the couple of examples here. Uh, after being let go from his company, remember, let go is another way of saying fired. Uh, they offered him a handsome compensation package. Well, handsome, anytime it's to do with money, it always means a lot of money. A handsome compensation package to soften the blow. So even though he got fired, they gave him some good amount of money to tide him over for a while. So they kind of soften the blow or cushion the blow, makes it not as harsh. Or number two, even though her house was lost in a wildfire, many people sent her thousands of dollars in donations to cushion the blow. So she lost her house, but I don't know, maybe she probably didn't get all the money back for her house, but at least maybe part of it. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.